G'day guys, what's cracking? To Aussie here again. So today we're heading back to Valley Heights, Brew Mountains Brewery near Springwood and they've got a food truck there today. They have one every Friday and Saturday. Sometimes they alternate on different days, but this week I think it's Friday and Saturday, Ray Ray's Kitchen. So folks, this is one I'm super juiced to try. I have no, I know they've been there a little bit in the past, but I haven't gotten around to it. So not sure what I'm gonna get yet. Like most food trucks, if you do your Googles, you don't have to find any info, but we'll go down, check them out and see what's doing. So that's what's on the agenda today, folks. Ray Ray's food truck. Let's check it out. Come with. And we're back babies and we definitely got the goods we got something called the bogan burger it's like a pretty decent burger now i'll tell you straight up 20 bucks for that guy also we got something called pierogi i think it's called also 20 buckaroonies so guys we had a we have had some good savings lately so i thought why not splash out have a little splurge so now i think it's called pierogi don't quote me on it but let me know if you know it's actually a polish dumpling now i reckon without further ado ah uh, boo boo we gotta try these guys we've got a little bacon with it as well you love to see it there we go let's try a little bacon sour cream a little dunkaroonie bob's your uncle Man, that does hit in a good way, I like that. So, if you know what's in that, let me know, because I'm not 100%. Should have Googled it, maybe. Dummy Googles. And also, let me know how you say this name. I think it's Pierogi, but I don't know. Totally on point. Have a little bacon with some sour cream as well, why don't we? Yeah, I love to taste it. So, of course, they're piping hot straight off the press or out of the fryer, however, they did it. They look like they got a bit of grease factor, so I guess they were fried. Uh, deep fried. I didn't actually check out them cooking the stuff, so I don't know, but I'd say so. It looks like it. That's how it looks inside. It smells good too. Now guys, it looks like it's about to piss down any minute, so we better get on with this burger. Stuck. This is a handful, I tell you. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, all the beetroot fell out. Not each far. Now they left the lid open when I grabbed it, but I closed it up because there was flies everywhere. Wow. We might have to eat. Might have to tuck that back in. I can't pull it apart. <laughs> Look at that. So it looks like it's got tomato, beetroot. Cheese, patty, lettuce, all sorts. A little bit of beetroot, you'll have to taste it. Hot mess, but it should be a doozy. Let's pull the pin and stick it in. Hopefully. Right, yo. You better have to wrap the old laughing gear around this one. 
Oh, it's got everything. I guess it's like a hamburger with a lot. It's got the pineapple, bacon, and all sorts. Very cheesy, very greasy. It's just what you want. A burger that's hard to wrap your laughing gear around and hard to wrap your mitts around. So that's your burger. Bogan burger from Ray Ray's kitchen, food truck. Now of course they're not just in this joint at Blue Mountains Brewery, they'll be in other places as well. I'm sure they're on Insta, so check them out. I'll put a link down so you can check them out. Bloody flies, they found me. Oh, an onion as well. Pretty much a hamburger a lot. And it has got the lot, that's for sure. It's a doozy. What a super spreader. You know what? Even though I'm loving these things, I might keep them, save them for Ron, because this is so hard to handle. Close them up, because the flies will get them. So if ever you, so if ever you see Ray Ray's guys, give that a try. And these old pierogies, whatever they're called, you'll love to taste them. Get in there, give them a crack if you see them around the joint, or if you're here, follow Brew Mountains Brewery as well, because sometimes these guys are here. It's my first time getting down here to catch up with them, but totally awesome experience. I'm so glad I did. Totally on point, and these flies are totally on off point. <laughs> I'll be back. I need to clean up. I didn't grab a Bevragino, but I was at Audi the other day, got the old Flying Power Garana 4, 4 pack, 4 bucks, 1 buck each, not bad for a little throw down I guess, I ain't complaining, let's pour it, give it a red hot swig. That looks like the colour that it's going to come out later on I think. <laughs> Actually, it looks a bit like a beer. I was at a brewery, I didn't get one, did I? Nostrovia. Next best thing to a beer. Not bad, that. Give me a bit of uh, Red Bull vibes. So that ain't bad. One dollar a can, can't go wrong. I've got to get back to this bloke. Got to scoff the rest of this. It is a beauty. So like I said folks, if you ever see Ray Ray's, give them a crack. Look at this, everything's just falling out. That's how good it is. Totally on point, total winner that one. Full of flavours. I'm just such a happy little chappy. Plenty of beetroot, plenty of tomato, always a good thing. And that patty actually tastes pretty good too. It stands out. It's got like nice seasoning. Wunderbar. Even with that much still left, it's still slip sliding away. And I'm getting full as a goog, I can tell you that. It was nice, I'm talking about googs, it had an egg on it too, I love that. Just my jam, just my cup of tea, right up my alley. The burgers are better at Ray Ray's.
But folks, you I reckon you could get this and these guys between two people. If I can get it open, you could share that out between two people. Cut that in half if you can. Wouldn't be easy though. A couple of these each, you'll be full as. So, Ray Rays. If you've seen them around, give them a crack. And if you haven't, have a look for them. See if you can find them. Well worth a try. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru, stay fresh. I'm McLovin' it. Mm. Even that little bit still hard to, too hard to handle.